It's very important that you memorize scripture and you meditate on it. You meditate on scripture. You you say it throughout the day. You say, the, say it in your mind through your situations that you're going through, through the things that you're doing. Through Even though you're busy, you can still recite scriptures to yourself. You can pray while you're going throughout your day. If you face adversity, if you're feeling really, really celebratory, I don't know if that's a word, if you're feeling very positive, if you're feeling really down, it's very, very important to go to scripture. It can, it's, it's that peace that, that can be given to you from, from God. You know, you're going to the throne room with these scriptures. You're, you're exalting God. You're calling on him. You're calling on him. Your light, your salvation, your savior. Please, please learn scripture. Learn scripture and meditate on it. it, it it's so important. We see in, in the desert, Jesus, Jesus goes into the desert for 40 days and, and the devil tempts him over and over again. I believe it's three times. And, and each, each time Jesus responds with scripture. He responds with the word of God. He responds with the truth. Every single time we see even Jesus does it. So why do you think that you're exempt from doing so? Scripture is so, so important in combating the enemy and combating the things that you go through every single day. You see, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know, but the devil throws thoughts your way that aren't even yours. He can use your mind against you. Your own mind can be used against you. And, you, and a lot of people just don't know this. A lot of people don't know this. But you, you take that scripture, you take that scripture and you recite it and you, you almost instantly just push back. You, you push back and you already go into a place of remembrance. You go into a place of, oh, this is my God. He could bring me out. The, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He, he could pull you out of any situation, any storm, you know, and, and it puts you in, in, into such a better predicament recite scripture you know uh, and, and, and the devil wants to keep you blinded he wants to keep you away from the bible he wants to to make you lean on your own understanding and this is not what we're supposed to do you have to understand that's not what we're supposed to do we're not supposed to lean on our own understanding or our own wisdom let me take that back not our own wisdom the wisdom that God has given us through our experiences. So I guess you could say that's sort of your own wisdom. You know, everybody has their their own different wisdom, their own different takes on, on how to go about scenarios, how to go about problems and how to solve them. We've seen different things. We all see the world through a different scope. But I, I long to see the world through the eyes of Jesus. I long to see the world through the eyes of God. Uh, I, I, I want to hear as he hears. I want to see as he sees. I want to think as he thinks. I, I, I want to do all of that. I want to think as he thinks. And it, 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 it's so important to take scripture, to, to come the, the, a little bit closer to doing that. When you recite scriptures, you, you begin to have them with you wherever you go in your heart. They begin to show through your actions these are the fruits <laughs> these are the fruits <laughs> and you begin to produce the fruits of the spirit as you as you continue to meditate on verses and meditate on the truth of god you begin to show those fruits and they begin to play out through your life they're very important in in in, in going through life um the enemy does not play fair we know he doesn't play fair and and you have to have that foundation you have to have that foundation through any trial any any anything that may come up throughout the day it's, it's very important so if you haven't already if you don't if i asked you right now if you knew a scripture would you be able to recite me a scripture other than john 3 16 everybody knows john 3 16 that's a great scripture though i'm not i'm not sleeping on that but that's more of a scripture to remind you of who Jesus is and who God is, you know, that's, that's, that's one that you can hold on to. But it, a lot of people know that one. And, and it's important to note that even the enemy knows scripture as well. Even the enemy knows scripture as well. That's so crazy. But there's so many people that just go to the book, they can read through it and they don't take anything from it. They don't put it into their heart. They don't allow God to, work throughout throughout them work in their spirit and work in their body they don't they don't allow god to do that um and and 
a lot of people wonder why they're stuck going through these different cycles through these different different depressive thoughts through these different uh just tragedies you know tragedies that happen every single day just in your mind you know the one of the first things we see the devil do is play with the mind of eve get her to think oh it's not that bad to eat the fruit oh did god really say that mind games mind games and then we see this so much right now in the society that we live in you have to be very very careful you have to be very very careful and i want to take a shot at you i ain't, i'm not trying to take a shot at you but i'm gonna be honest a lot of people are playing on your emotions a lot of people are playing with your mind it could be people very close to you and i'll go straight to one of the biggest sources of it is music Music can keep you trapped in the same thoughts over and over again. You're playing the same music, this, the same songs over and over again. That's taking you back to that pain that you felt, your trauma, your heartbreak, um, losing a family member, lo losing, losing a job, losing, losing a sense of, uh, uh, of a home, a, a sense of, of, of clarity, losing, losing, losing yourself in drugs. Losing yourself in the world, losing yourself in the moment, going out and partying. Those are different different things that, that I'll say that is, is glorified through music. And, and people play the, this music over and over again. And I'm not downplaying any of your pain. I'm not downplaying anything that you've been through. I'm not downplaying walking in your shoes. I'm not downplaying that by any means, um, any means at, at all. But you, you have to... You have to be mindful of, of what you allow and your thoughts and how you're dealing with your thoughts. And, and the best way is to deal with scripture and to take everything to God first in, in prayer. Um, take it straight to the throne room. Take it, take it straight to the throne room. I don't, I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter what you're, what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I mean, obviously if you're driving, don't just be like, as soon as like it's, it's a green light or it's about to be a stoplight, you just close your eyes. Don't do that. That's not what I'm saying. But just pray real quick. You know, just just take that thought to God. You know, um, God's got you. He'll he'll lead you through. Just fully trust in Him. Trust trust in the Lord, the one who can save. <laughs> the one who can save. You have to. You have to want to know him you have to want an actual relationship with him and and a lot of the times people are just stuck on defense and while they're in defense they're not even defending they're just allowing the enemy to come on through set up whatever they want fortresses strongholds uh build upon whatever you're going through build upon past uh transgressions build build upon regret build upon shame build build upon guilt build upon just all these different things and, and you're 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 stuck on defense you could you're not pursuing the kingdom as you should or pushing pushing the kingdom to the best of your ability because you're you're stuck on defense you don't even know how to go on offense yet you're you're still and it's such an you're still an infant in the world <laughs> you're still an infant in the world you're not even an infant in and in in the faith, you're infinite in the world. You're stuck. You're stuck, and you need to you need to get out of that. You you need to move from a place of defense of constantly being on defense, trying to figure out why you're thinking this. Why can't things go right? Why am I not good enough? Why am I not good at this? Why can't I be good at that? What's my next move? How am I gonna go here? How am I gonna get it? Gonna get this? Why don't people like me? Why don't I look the best? Why am I not up to par? Why do I have no friends? <laughs> why, why are so many things coming my way? Why, why is all this happening to me? You're stuck in this loop. You're stuck in these loops because you're stuck on defense and you're just, the devil's just playing with you. Just playing with you. They're just pitter pattering you like the wind. You're double minded. Um, if you're double minded, if you're even there. You have to build your foundation. You have to build upon that foundation of Jesus. And you, you can't just you can't just stay stuck on defense forever. It'll just keep you there. It'll just keep you there. And if, if you want to move 
you, you will dive into the word and you'll dive into your relationship with God. Meditate on the word. Keep it with you at, at all times. Keep it close to your heart. Keep it close to your soul. Keep it close to your mind. Don't move away from God, but move towards him. The devil wants you away from him. He wants you to be stuck in whatever you're going through because you're such a special person. You're such a special person and, and you don't even see it because you're stuck thinking negative thoughts that aren't even your own. That aren't even your own. You know, the Bible says my people perish for a lack of knowledge and, and you're not knowledgeable of the way that the devil plays. You're not knowledgeable that your mind is under attack heavily every single day in your dreams and in your finances and your life and your and your relationships. You're, you're, you don't know. You're not you're not seeking to know either. You're just wondering about yourself. You're not understanding that it's so much so much bigger than you you know and you, that that goes that includes your thoughts you don't know which thoughts are from god which thoughts are you and which thoughts are the enemy please please um be knowledgeable understand because there's a it, it goes past it it goes past the point of just oh these aren't your thoughts there's 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 things that have been placed in your past that you you may not know about you know uh, people call the thing your inner child. There's there's some things that might be there that need to get dug out that can't be dug out by just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. Because obviously, you know, it's not getting anywhere. Thinking and thinking and thinking, drinking, sinking, sipping and pimping and slipping. And you're not gripping because you're not you don't have your Bible with you. So you're not gripping. You just you just need you need to meditate on scripture. You need to take a verse today. Take a verse today and just keep it with you. Look look up whatever situation you're going through. Uh, Bible verses that, that, that speak on, look up Bible verses that speak on self-worth or Bible verses that help you through depression or hard times or, you know, um, maybe you just lost a friend. Maybe you just lost a family member you you don't have that peace that you need um so I, i'm i'm just here to just tell you you know you you've got to move from a place of defense to a place of offense and at, at least a place of knowing you know at least a place of knowing you know and then you can maybe move to offense um but just Keep scripture with you. Keep scripture with you. And, and, and a scripture that really could speak to you um, at any given point in time, you know. Um, and hopefully you start to see the uh, fruits work throughout you. Um, we know this this life isn't fair at times. And, and we know that there's so many things that are going on right now. And there's so many good things and there are also so many bad things you know it's, it's just a big divide you know and things can only get better they can only get way way worse um, you just you just have to be mindful and I I really I really want you to be protected I really want God's hand to be in your life I really want you to know his presence I really want you to know his presence and I really want you to feel his presence as well so that's why I'm here that's why I'm here um you have to move from a place of defense, being stuck in your thoughts, uh, to a place of diving straight in, into into God, head first. <laughs> you know, head first and, and, and into your Bible. Um, if you don't have a Bible, um, I can help you get one. It's it's really important though. It's really important that you you don't just read the scripture, but you take something from it. You you or at least try to take something from it. Maybe you don't understand at that given time. Uh, get people around you that that can help you to uh, to understand you're so loved you're so loved don't don't ever forget that all right i'm out of here you're so loved um worship god in all spirit and in truth um know that you are or could be a child of God. All right, we're out of here. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
Amen.